which is uh, propelled by an engine, by an internal combustion engine. V know we have a fuel tank, so that fuel is supplied to an internal combustion engine. So that kinetic energy, which is the fuel is burned and it converts to heat energy, and that heat energy converted to kinetic energy, and that kinetic energy goes to the driving wheels, driving wheels through a transmission. So this is the basic powertrain of a normal vehicle which is propelled by a kind of internal combustion engine. But in an electric vehicle, we have the battery, tang, tang, battery. So this is charged by our domestic electricity and then we convert this kind electric, electric energy to kinetic by using a motor. By using a motor, we convert it to kinetic energy. So that motor goes to a transmission, but remember, this transmission has a fixed gear ratio, and then that torque transferred to driving wheels. So this is the basic concept of, a, of an electric wave. Right. So mainly we have three types of electric vehicles. The first is BEV. And then we have PHEV. And then we have R E V. We have B E V, P H E V, and R E V. So B E V stands for battery electric wind, and P H E V stands for plug-in hybrid electric. And REV stands for Range Extended Electric Wind. So, a BEV means, as we discussed, it's just like a toy. We have a battery, a motor, and then we drive the vehicle. So we charge the battery, that electricity used by the motor, and the motor drives the wheels through a transmission. So that is the basic battery electric vehicle. So main examples, we have Nissan Leaf, Mitsubishi, Miley. So when it comes to PHE, the plug-in hybrid electric vehicle, it is not just a PHV. So PHV stands for plug-in hybrid vehicle. So that is a normal hybrid vehicle where it is, there is an option to charge the battery by using electricity, the normal domestic electricity. But here, when it comes to PHEV, it is an electric vehicle which has the hybrid function with an internal combustion engine. Right? So main example for this it is the PHEV Outlander Mitsubishi, Mitsubishi Outlander. So that is the main example for PHEV. Then we have An engine, uh, a type which is called as REV, Range Extended Electric Vehicle. In a Range Extended Electric Vehicle, it is a vehicle which is very similar to BEV, but it has a small two cylinder engine or a very small engine uh, just to charge the battery through a generator. 
So it's like this. The good example for this REV is the BMW i3 wedge. So we have a BMW i3 which is comes under the BEV where we have a battery, we have a motor and then it just the battery runs the motor and motor drives the vehicle. Similar to that, we have a BMW i3 which is called BMW i3 Rex. So in this vehicle, we have a two-cylinder petrol small engine which is fixed to a normal uh, something similar to uh, a motorcycle engine which is with two cylinders. So it drives a generator and all this that generator charges the battery. There is no mechanical connection between the engine and the driving wheel. So in this, the small engine, it can't propel the vehicle, it can't move the vehicle by it, only by the engine. So it is just an extender or it just work as a generator to charge the battery. That's all. So even we can take a full cell vehicle under REV because it is some diesel electric vehicle with a full cell, cell stack where it charges the battery continuously. Right. So in our future videos, we are going to discuss about full cell vehicles as well. Okay. Into electricity and it charges the battery. 
So this is the basic, uh, basic power flow of an electric vehicle. And the other thing what I want to tell you is, the whole driving process or the driving method is controlled by the motor. So the motor is controlled by the inverter. So inverter is, to control the inverter, we have a separate controlling module. So this controlling module receives all the driver's demand and the working condition of the vehicle. So according to that tonality, this controlling module controls the inverter and it controls the motor and then the vehicle moves. So all the driver's demand, so the accelerator pedal angle. So all these things, it is designed by the controlling module and it controls the inverter, then the inverter drives the motor and the motor drives the driving wheels of the vehicle. So in our future videos, we are going to discuss about these components and remember, when we study on electric vehicles, from manufacturer to manufacturer, the names, they name these components in various methods. As an example, in all these Japanese vehicles, they use motor as motor. Or we use uh, uh, the inverter, we use it as inverter. But when it comes to BMWs, they call it as the electrical machine electronics. And we call the motor for BMW, we, they call it as an electric machine. So like that, remember, uh, when you are going to study about electric vehicles, all these components are there, but from manufacturer to manufacturer, the names might be get changed. So, this is the basic power flow. So in our future videos, we are going to discuss about these, all these components, one by one, with a, a clear idea. Right. So if you think this video is useful for your knowledge, please share us and subscribe and keep, click on the bell icon. And if you have any doubts, please contact us or comment on the comment section. Then we can build a good discussion with you. Thank you.